Hello, Dr. Lee is here and in today's video, I'm going to share or talk about autophagy. What is autophagy? What happens during autophagy? What are the benefits of autophagy and how do you get to induce autophagy? And even lastly, I'll tell you what happens if at all you don't induce autophagy. Coming up. So from the word autophagy, we have two. They separated it into two. One is auto and the other one is phagy. So auto means self and phagy means eating. So the word autophagy basically means self-eating. This is the way your whole body uh, eats itself or creates energy from itself through the cellular tissues and through the organelles that are in the cell that are dead that are there just wasting space and therefore it generally is just a cleanup of the cell and your entire body. We all know that you will enjoy sitting in a clean room rather than in a very untidy and an organized room. That is the same concept that your cells utilize when they are cleaning up. Okay? So there are different things and the big question in the house is do we really need to eat all the time? And if at all we have to eat, how often should we be eating and how often or how frequent should we be consuming food? And even if we have this frequency, how much is enough food? Okay? So many of us uh, know that when you're fasting, there are different things that you'll experience. One being hunger. Then the other one has to be uh, uh, mental clarity. Once that hunger disappears, you start getting mental clarity. These are the times when you realize your autophagy has just set in. And that is exactly what we are going to discuss in today's video. So many of us are in desperate need of this autophagy only that you don't have the information and you don't know and you don't understand it so i'm here to bridge that gap and help you understand the benefits of fasting and now one of the most important benefits of fasting which is autophagy so i'll make you understand this and after i'm doing i've done that then i will encourage you to start fasting now remember you do not need a 48 hour fast you don't need to begin with a 72 hour fast for you to be fasting even an intermittent fast is a type of fasting and you can still achieve autophagy this cell cleaning this uh, clearance of these toxins this uh, recovery from uh, autoimmune conditions and, uh, and and allergic reactions you can still recover from that through an intermittent fast so you can still practice an intermittent fast and still achieve your autophagy goals so at that cellular level we have things that are called lysosomes there are organelles in the cells that are called lysosomes and these lysosomes contains several enzymes and the function of these enzymes is just to break down different uh, 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 components in the cell so that it gives you energy. One of these components in the cell has to be the protein. We also have the DNA. We have the RNA. So we have so many, we have carbohydrates, lipids and, and all these uh, compounds that are in the cell but they are not being utilized as energy. So when you start fasting, what you do is uh, beyond 24 hours that's when it, autophagy kicks in and it starts to maximize. But within uh, the first 16 hours, you can get your autophagy. So remember, the first eight hours, beginning, you've eaten, you've taken a meal, then there's digestion, there's absorption, then that food is converted into an energy. When you reach the eighth hour, then the system starts to clean up. The gut starts to clean up because now there is no food coming in. Okay, So now it starts to clean up and again, uh, the gut reflexes start to shut down because since there's nothing coming in we have to shut down and rest So you need to ensure that your gut rests all the time after a meal. The problem with us is we eat Very frequent and very often 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 that uh, we don't allow our gut to rest and digest and even absorb that food and then do the cleanup So when you reach at eight hours you realize that this starts to happen. The gut starts to shut down, you start to clean up, and then the entire system starts to uh, reorganize itself. And that is the moment when you start getting into a fast. Because now you're not taking in food, you're only taking in fluids or electrolytes. So your body turns uh, to fat in the cells. So actually, it starts with the uh, glucose in your bloodstream, cleans up this glucose, and then heads to the fat in the fat cells because that's the hardest energy to tap out. So after cleaning up all this glucose, it heads to the fat cells and starts tapping out uh, energy from these fat cells through a process called ketosis or ketogenesis. 
that is the reason why we actually fast so by the time it does away with the glycogen in the liver and the glucose in your bloodstream and starts heading to the fat the body realizes that we are changing our energy mechanism from the food now to the stored energy in in the fat cells this is why people who have diabetes start to benefit from uh, fasting and if somebody tells you that if you're diabetic you should not fast because you'll get into hypoglycemia that person is not telling you the truth what is not telling you is if you're fasting and you're still using insulin you might get a, uh, a reason not to fast because now you'll go into a hypoglycemia because insulin on its own takes you into low blood uh, glucose levels which is hypoglycemia but not fasting so when you're fasting and you're free from drugs and then you start tapping energy from fat cells and that means you will not the body will not allow you to go into hypoglycemia so again talk to your doctor start tapering down that insulin dose drop those oral medications then start fasting and eat healthy once you do that if you're diabetic then you'll start recovering and once you attain a certain glycemic control you can now uh, drop uh, or start tapering down that insulin so that it gets out of the system and you start recovering insulin will not help you recover from diabetes autophagy and fasting eating healthy and strictly controlling your diet will help you okay so once you've recycled this through the the lysosome actually what it produces those enzymes that break down those food substances that i just told you the lipids the carbohydrates the protein the dna and rna and it converts them into energy so basically the lysosome what it does in the cell is cleaning up the cell and destroying all those debris and all those organelles that are uh, are dead and are wasting a lot of space in the cell so the lysosome clear this through a process called autophagy so you have to induce the lysosomes for them to start cleaning up the cell and how do you induce lysos lysosomes through autophagy and basically that is 18 hours and above of fasting okay so if you attain 18 hours of fasting you already hit autophagy and through that you start benefiting from these things and i want you to also remember autophagy is basically just a cellular way of cleaning up and how does it clean up it's cleaning up all the garbage in the cell it's cleaning up all those food particles the viruses the bacteria uh, uh, in inflammatory uh, uh, reactive agents like uh, oxidative agents in the cell those uh, free radicals it's also clearing up cancer cells so it doesn't give cancer cells a chance to survive so you can imagine the benefits of autophagy and that's the reason why when autophagy is happening what you'll hear is people will tell you when i fast beyond 24 hours i have so much energy i feel energetic i work much more than uh, i used to work when i was eating i get all this mental clarity and i become i feel sharp okay so i start losing weight because autophagy is intended to do that it's intended to cut down the body fat cut down those extra organelles in your cells and then helps you start to lose weight and that's the reason why i told you if you go through autophagy if you go through fasting and dieting healthy keto and then you'll attain uh, that 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 tummy will go away but again you will not have that sagging skin because autophagy cleans up and then these cells find a chance to rejuvenate and therefore that skin goes back and returns back into normal do not use shortcuts uh, to lose weight you can do uh, an autophagy marathon to help you lose weight and diet okay so now again they will tell you I'm re i've recovered from this uh, inflammatory conditions like arthritis has just disappeared those people who go to the gym and then you get uh, those strains muscle strains and those joint pains if you fast they start to disappear you get good sleep there's a good skin okay there's glowing skin all through then we have a recovery from all other chronic conditions like people who have cancer you need to start fasting because once you start fasting you're blocking glucose uptake so you're breaking now fat cells to give you ketone bodies and cancer cells do not uh, survive on ketone bodies they survive on glucose and glutamine so if you deny them glucose then they start to die and proliferation of cancer starts to disappear so you recover from cancer you recover from diabetes hypertension arthritis these chronic conditions like di like insulin resistance and also chronic inflama inflammation and even autoimmune conditions so that is what happens when autophagy kicks in and when autophagy is not controlled when you don't get to autophagy because the body has something called a uh, uh, healing power and this happens to every cell but you'll never get that healing power if you do not induce it and how do we induce that healing power through autophagy and how do we get to autophagy number one eating healthy keto and number two fasting okay so those two are the ones that will induce autophagy and therefore induce your cellular cleaning so if you don't get through this because most of us eat oftenly eat all the time when we eat bad diets we 
load or load uh, our bodies with uh, junk food and uh, simple carbohydrates and processed foods and those seed oils. So we are already in need of autophagy, but we are not doing it. So our body is asking us to do a fast so that it cleans up, but we are loading it with bad foods and bad diets all the time. So we are getting into a serious mess. So if you don't achieve autophagy, what you'll have is fatigue. What you'll have is bloating. What you'll have is malnutrition. You'll have brain fog. You'll be sluggish in your movement, sluggish in your thinking. You'll start yawning all the time. You just eat now and the next minute you're yawning. You'll go into a fatty liver. You'll have that inflammation. So arthritis will never leave you. You'll have insulin resistance. And we all know, once you get to insulin resistance, you're talking diabetes. You're talking, you're talking hypertension. You're talking prostate cancer and, uh, and, 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 and those cancers. We are talking about uh, 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 erectile dysfunction and premature ejaculation, hormonal imbalances. We are talking about kidney failure because hyperinsulinemia is the number one cause of kidney failure. So we are talking about kidney failure, we are talking about cancers. So you can imagine all this. This takes you to a reason why you should just fast and get into autophagy. Now understand that the first three hours you eat, you, of, of eating, you're digesting, you're absorbing, and you're creating energy from that food. Some of this food is stored also in fat cells or in the liver as energy. Beyond that, your body starts to clean up. Your body starts to uh, shut down. The digestive system starts to shut down so that you don't take in any food, so that your body uh, energy mechanism shifts to what you've stored. Okay? And that's why in the morning you have so much energy and don't feel hungry. Now, after that, we have done all this cleaning. We want to excrete uh, waste products. You will excrete it uh, beyond 16 hours. And then from there, you kick in, autophagy kicks in. Once it kicks in, now you start having all this rejuvenation. So we need to attain autophagy. It is very important. You can do uh, an autophagy marathon every other day, every day. Okay. The only problem is when you have menstrual cycles for women, ovulation can be altered through prolonged periodic fasts, like 42, uh, 48 hours and 72 hours. It can alter your progesterone production. However, it is always good for a woman to fast after your menstruation. Why? Because once you do that, you stabilize your hormones and therefore you go back into a normal, a regular cycle. So I encourage you to start fasting and do it beyond uh, 24 hours. You can start slow. You can start with 12 hours, just skip one meal, and then go graduate to 14, 16, 24 hours, and then push a prolonged a periodic fast of 48 hours once in a week or twice in a month. Okay? You can also push a 72-hour fast, but do not go beyond the five-day five, uh, five day fast. So that is autophagy, and those are the benefits of autophagy. Start fasting.